I thought it was you. Nice to see you, Dixon. It's been a while, Grandpa. One year, if my memory hasn't left me. Good to see you haven't kicked the bucket. <laughs> Put a sock in it. Wait. Dixon. Dunban. You're the heroes who risked your lives a year ago in the battle to defend the colonies. What's a pretty young lady like you doing hanging around with this bunch of slackers? Dunban, Dixon. Thanks for helping out back there. I don't believe we did anything. He's right. Save your thanks for that giant bird. What was that thing? A telethia. A mystical beast that protects the sleeping Bionis. Though I've never heard of one ever venturing down to where us Homs live. Strange. A telethia? So that's what it's called. A mystical beast that protects the Bionis. So, what's your plan from here? Follow that metal-faced machine, I presume. What else? He's gonna pay for what he did to Fiora. Well then, there's only one place he'd go. Galahad Fortress in Sword Valley. A year ago, those things were building a huge fortress, right in the valley. Tactically, it's an excellent location to launch attacks from. I feel there's a strong chance they've now finished building it. That would explain why both colonies were attacked recently. Sword Valley, the very place where we made our last stand one year ago. So it's settled. Bash down a fortress and smash some metal brains. Easy rain. Chalk? There's somewhere else I need to go first. But what could be more important than... Wait, you saw another one. Saw what? What are you on about? These visions sound pretty handy. Well, out with it. What do you see? I was somewhere very high up. I was fighting at the peak of a huge tower. Fighting Metal Face. I heard a voice, and then the Monado's power was unleashed. His armor instantly gave way. The Monado doesn't work on Metal Face at the moment. But if that vision comes true... A tower, huh? Doesn't give us much to go on. Can you remember anything else from your vision? I remember... a huge horn. That's it. As I fought Metal Face, I could see the Bionis head. Prison Island. Prison Island? I've never been, but I've heard of a black tower at the head of the Bionis. They say it was built by the ancient High Entia race. The High Entia are real? I thought they were a myth. I wouldn't blame you, son. An ancient race living at the top of the Bionis? It does sound crazy. But Bionis is home to all kinds of different people, not just us. That includes the High Entia. The High Entia, huh? I dismiss them as folklore as well. Never assume anything. Seeing is believing, right? Have you ever met one? Well, yeah. Wow. Dixon, man, you're just full of surprises. What can I say? I'm well traveled. <laughs> and it's all for your future. Day and night I've searched for new lands met new cultures, and gain knowledge for our people. The life of a wandering old fool. A lonely one at that. <laughs> Stop your whining. You do it because you enjoy it. And you make a tidy profit. Who asked you, Dumban? Well then, Shulk, what's it to be? We'll head there. There are alternatives. We could abandon the colonies. Find a place the Mekon will not discover and live in secret. I realized something when we were fighting Zord. Wherever we go, they'll follow. We can't run from these things. We must fight on. I see. Then I am obliged to join you. You want to come with us? Scared I'll get hurt? No way! We know you're stronger than anything. Right, Ryan? You bet! I've recovered a great deal since we last met. And that miserly old coot over there made me this. Sharp. Light. Perfect for cutting through steel. Show me a mechon and I'll slice it in two. I might not be in peak condition, but I'm useful. I can't thank you enough. We're in it together now. You can count on us, Dunban. Miserly old coot. 
That sword is forged from mech on armor. It's worth every penny. So you keep saying. If you want to go to the Bionis head, you'll need a guide to get to the upper regions. We're at the bottom, so I guess the only way to go is up. Right, but we'll need to go up the lower back first. The lower back? Colony 6 is right at the top of the Bionis leg, so we'll have to head around the waist. Through a place called Sartal Marsh. Follow me.